Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial series for the Animal Behavior Kit. In this video we'll take a look at level creation. And what does that mean? We're going to finally jump into Unreal and create a brand new level just for the tutorial. We're going to take a look at the auto material that comes with, the, with ABK as, uh, as a free bonus. We're going to add some foliage uh, uh, that includes trees and bushes. We're going to add a little lake. Uh, and we are going to add a navigation mesh because if we don't do that, a lot of the AI will not be able to operate. Um, so that's it. So let's go ahead and jump to Unreal. And if you follow from the previous video, uh, I just gave you guys a quick overview of all of the different blueprints that are included with ABK. And if you open uh, the project for the first time, you'll immediately be taken to Level Showcase. So let's create a brand new level and we're going to click on file, new level, and go ahead and click on default. And let's go ahead now and click on save current and go to ABK, go to maps, and let's call this level tutorial. Or you can call it whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to call it a uh, level tutorial. We're going to click on save and right now let's go ahead and, and delete atmospheric fog reflection capture for the skylight select it and and and, and uh, make it movable that way we don't have to build lighting uh, go to the light source and again make it movable this is the option right here um, this is um, so we don't actually have to build lighting and we we don't have that annoying message there Click on floor and hit delete. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all these three things, right click, go all the way down to move to and say create new folder. And I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna call this zero.components. And um, this is just my way of keeping things organized. You don't really have to do this, but as we go through the tutorial, we will be adding a lot of different blueprints and con content to this level. So keeping things organized will be very, very useful. So once we do that and we save, we want to now create a new landscape. So right here under mode, so go to the third icon and click on landscape. And immediately you'll see that Unreal tries to add this massive landscape here. 63 by 63. Uh, I don't think we need such a massive landscape, so let's make it 31 by 31. Um, uh, just to keep things a little more manageable. Uh, the way I'm thinking is we are going to be adding different systems, but we don't necessarily need to have all of the systems working together in the same level. So as we go through each system, we're going to simply um, you know, delete it and add the new system just so you guys can focus on one thing at a time. So let's go ahead and, and make it 31 by 31, one by one sections and click on, um, actually before we click on create, under material, go ahead and click on none and start typing terrain. And you'll see that there is a material called M procedural terrain and a material instance called M procedural terrain underscore standard. So let's go ahead and click on the second one called standard and click on create. And right now you'll see that the landscape has been created and everything's 100% black. And the reason for that is because we need to create the layers. So go ahead and click on right here under paint, click on paint. And you'll see that we have two different layers, procedural and foliage removal. Click on the little arrow at uh, the bottom here and select procedural layer info. And here, click on foliage removal layer info. And now, if we switch back to the uh, place placement mode and we zoom back in, now you'd see that immediately we have a landscape uh, material and it already has some grass being generated here. If you notice this uh, weird little square here, that is because we need to build lighting for the first time. So click on the uh, little drop down here and you click on build lighting only. Uh, and based on the speed of your computer, this may take a little bit, but uh, it always kind of annoys me a little bit to have this um, little square. You can see it here. 
as, at a different shade and that's because again when we first created the um and you you by the way you can ignore this because we haven't had a um light mass importance volume um, and now you see that the little square is gone right so let's go ahead and click on save again and now let's go ahead and add um actually you know what before we add some trees let's add some mountains and we're going to add a little uh, pond so go back to the landscape mode click on sculpt and we are going to grab the uh, sculpting tool and let's just add some mountains here I'm gonna increase the strength a little bit so it's just easier okay There you go. And you don't necessarily need to uh, do it exactly as I'm doing it. I'm just trying to uh, create like a little valley here uh, where we're going to have all our little animals uh, interact with each other here. And right here uh, in the middle, let's go ahead and create a little lake. So um, with the sculpt tool, if you press shift, and you click and drag, you actually see that you are actually uh, digging uh, deeper. And here you see that at the bottom, uh, this auto material actually creates a sand layer if you go um, deeper. So let's see here, let's just do another. There you go, make it a little bit uh, steeper. And I think that's gonna be good enough for now. Let's go back to the placement mode, click on save all. And now we have some mountains and we have a potential lake here. So if we go back to our PowerPoint, we've uh, used the auto material and created a new landscape. And now we need to um, add some water. And before, and bef before we, we do that, um, we can add some foliage as well. So let's go ahead and add some foliage real quick. Uh, so if we click on Epic Content, we can go to meshes, environment, and we have uh, here trees and bushes that we're going to add. So now that we have this folder here, we can go back here to the landscape. I'm uh, sorry, not the landscape. We're going to the foliage, which is uh, the fourth option here. And we can grab this tree and drop it right here where it says foliage type. And we're going to do the same thing for the bushes here. And um, notice that they're both selected. So right now I'm going to deselect the bush and only select the trees. And when you click, you can see that there are several options here for us. I'm gonna make this a little bit taller here. And I'm going to decrease the density. I'm gonna make this uh, 10. And I'm going to increase the brush size here. And let's just take a quick test. If I just click, that is still, I think, in my opinion, way too dense. Let's see here. Yeah, it's way too dense. So I'm gonna make this like a two maybe. There you go, I think that's a little bit easier. Okay. Okay. I think that's good enough. Again, I'm not trying to make this pretty. I just want to uh, create a quick environment so you guys can see how everything kind of uh, fits together. Even then, I actually think there's uh, maybe many, too many trees here. So I'm going to kind of erase a few here. There you go. Um, I don't want the density to be too high because then we can't really see what the animals are doing. Okay. Now I'm going to select the bushes and the same thing, I want the density to be small, maybe two. And the same deal, we want bushes to be all around. And if you zoom in, 
is really when you can see the bushes here. And you'll see why I want to make sure that we have uh, some bushes here. There you go. We're going to add some here. Perfect. Okay. So we have some mountains. We have some trees. We have some bushes. And let's now add the water. So if you go back to the top folder in ABK and you go to Epic Content, go to Blueprints, go to Water, and you're going to drag BP translucent water to your level. And we're going to use it to create our little pond. And if you go here under defaults, you can see that there's a scale for X and for Y. So I think we're fine with the X. What we need is the Y. So let's widen the scale for Y and make it, I don't know, 100. And you can see probably not even 180 that's good enough for the lake yep there you go all right um, and you can see here that there's a lot of different options I'm not going to take uh, too much time explaining the options here uh, this is again a blueprint from epic available in one of the free projects. So feel free to take a look at all of the different options, including the primary color. You can change the color of the water, for example, if you wanted to make it like greenish or yellowish or whatever, right? In my case, let me make it like a little more a different shade of blue, for example. There you go. Uh -huh. But you can play around with the settings here. All right, let's go ahead and click save. And if we go back to the PowerPoint, uh, we've added the foliage, we've added the water. The last thing that we need to add is the navigation mesh. So right now, if we were to drop our AI uh, pawns here, they would actually not be able to navigate whatsoever because we do, do rely on uh, Unreal's navigation system. So the easiest way to do that is if you go here and start searching and click on search classes and click on navigation, oops, uh, just just NAV for nav, you'll see that there's a class called nav mesh bounce volume. This is what we're looking for right here. So grab it and drop it in your level. And in my opinion, the easiest way would be to go to location and make its location zero, zero, zero. It drops it in the exact middle of the uh, level. And actually, I just noticed here that I kind of left all this area here um, empty so I'm gonna probably fix that by uh, making the mountains a little bit here uh, regardless we're, we want to cover the entire level with a nav mesh so right now under scale let's make this something like a thousand and we notice that it's way too big so maybe 500 still too big okay let's say 250 uh, maybe 200. Yeah. All right, 150. There you go. 150, and then we're going to make 150 for Y. And let's make this 50 for Z or Z. And you can see that the nav mesh is now encapsulating the entire level. And that's what we want um, because now the navigation will be built for the entire level. And how do you know if there's navigation in your level? Uh, if you press P, the letter P in your keyboard, you'll see that uh, now you have this, this really bright uh, green um, visualization. All of this green is actually the nav mesh. So everywhere you see green, the AI can actually navigate. So your AI, if you drop it here, will be able to navigate and go on to the top of the mountains and even cross over if need be. Uh, press P again to disable. And uh, really quickly before I go, just because I know it's going to bother me a little bit, I'm going to uh, expand the mountain range. So from uh, under Sculpt, I'm going to flatten. And uh, starting here, I'm going to flatten all these mountains here and now I'm going under sculpt 
and I'm going to make the mountains right here. And that makes the area a little bit bigger uh, for us to play with, which of course means that now we have a little area here without foliage. So I'll go ahead and add some more foliage here. And I'm going to add some trees here as well. There you go. Great. All right. I think this is it, guys. We have our nap mesh, we have our water, we have our foliage, and we have our auto material. In the next video, we're actually going to start dragging in some very special blueprints that I consider to be part of the environment. Things like uh, actual the food blueprint, uh, there's a water blueprint, and there's a few other things that the AI will use later on. Um, and all this setup, by the way, um, is being done before we actually look at the AI because once we are looking at the different behaviors, it will be really nice to, to have everything already set up before that. Uh, so, um, you know, if you're growing impatient, please bear with me. I know this is a lot of uh, preliminary work, but I think this makes sense when you do it in order. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.